Hi. It's um, it's only it was only a matter of time, wasn't it? I love reading the Greek myth retellings. This this trend there is at the moment for retelling the Greek myths with a, a feminist slant. So it was only a matter of time before somebody did that to the classics. And we've got one, this one, Julia by Sandra Newman, which is taking another look at George Orwell's 1984. And as the title tells us, it's from the perspective of Julia. Um, all we really, we don't know a lot about Julia from the original book, do we? Because all we know is that Winston Smith hated her before they had this meeting, before they had this affair, and that in Room 101, he betrayed her. So we don't know an awful lot about her. What Sandra Newman does is she puts meat on Julia's bones. Um, and we get a glimpse of her life before, before she went, started working in the ministry. And we get her feelings when faced with Winston's lust and rage when he, they catch sight of one another. I'd, I thought the, the build up to the little message that she hands him, where that originated from. Uh, and how that came to pass. I thought that was, I thought that was quite good. Um, what I wasn't expecting is, I'm not a prude, please, please, I'm not a prude. I was not expecting the graphic sex. Um, we don't get it in the original. Maybe it was the, the time it was written in, I suppose, but it was the sometimes things are best left to a reader's imagination. I, I'm not prudish, but I just didn't feel that here it was necessary. It wasn't if if we're looking at the original and sort of building on the original, it didn't give the same vibe by by sort of sticking graphic sex in you you sort of lost the the vibe from the original am i making sense i am to me but maybe not to you um what she also gives us as well is more about life in oceania life in and out of london and the some of the minor characters that we get in 1984 she builds on she gives us a little bit more about them. Um, you, you learn more about the Pauls, about the black market, about the violence, the bombings, all that sort of stuff. Um, the arrests. Now, the arrest scenes and the torture, that goes into graphic detail and that is in totally in fitting. That, that totally fitted in with the vibe of the original book because the vibe of the original book, there's no hope, it's violent, it's, it's bleak. And by dwelling on the torture in, in after the arrests, that fitted totally in with the book, in, in with the original. That, that I had no problems at all with, with the, the graphic violence that was administered. The original 1984 ends when Winston and Julia are um, released and reintegrated. But in this one, we have the next part. We find out, she tells us what happens to Julia afterwards. She gives us another story, another part of the story. What happens to Julia? What happens to Oceania? And the end, I thought the ending was really, really clever. I, I appreciated the ending and the feeling that it gave, that it left you with. I, I thought the ending was very, very clever. So, so on the whole, there were bits that I really, really liked and bits that I think it was just purely the graphic sex that I didn't like. Um, everything else I, I was quite okay with. Um, but 
So it, it wasn't a a five star purely because too much sex. <laughs> so it's, yeah, in some books you need. In some books it works. It, it really does. But I didn't feel it worked in this one. But that's just for me. Anyway, um, oh, I never said when it comes out. Um, it comes out sometime in October. I have a feeling it's either the 19th or the 26th. I'll stick it in the description box down below. So that's Julia by Sandra Newman. So happy reading. Take care.